Number four, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds. And then we have letter D, which is this whole mess. So we have to figure out what the molecular mass is of this compound, right? Well, I see a bunch of elements here, right? I see three different elements. I see that I have an S in the middle, and S stands for sulfur. I see that I have these O's, right? And O's are oxygen. And then I have these H's, and H's stand for hydrogens. So I have three different elements here, but I need to find out how many total I have. So the first thing that I always like to do when I have to find out a molecular mass, I just want to find out what the chemical formula is of this big mess. It does not matter what element you say first. I'll just start in the middle. So I'll start with S. So it looks like I have one S, right? And that's a sulfur. So I have an S. And now let's do the oxygens. How many total oxygens are here? Well, I see an O over here. I see an O over here, up top, on the bottom, and on the right-hand side. So I have four oxygens. So I can say O4, right? And now let's do the hydrogens, right? The H's. Well, I see that I have an H over here and an H over here. So technically I could just add this over here, right? H2. So it looks like the compound that this is, the chemical formula is SO4H2. Technically it doesn't matter what order you put it in if you find the molecular mass, but this one, this is basically going to be H2SO4. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase this. And I'm just going to say that the H2s are in the front. So I have two hydrogens in the front and then the S and then O4. This is like the general formula of this structure. But remember, it doesn't matter which element you write out first when you find the molecular mass. So now, that was basically the hard part. Now we just have to find out the mass. So what we like to do is we like to separate all of the individual elements. So I have hydrogen, just like we said, I have sulfur and I have oxygen. Now, in order to find a molecular mass, you have to tell me how many of each of the individual elements we have. But we did that already, right? We color coded it. We said that we had two hydrogens, H2. We had one sulfur. There was only one S here. And there's a one here, right? And then we had four oxygens. Now, when you're finding a molecular mass, we don't even care about these bonds, right? These like lines. We don't care whether they're single bonded or double bonded to each other. That has nothing to do with the mass. That has everything to do with the interactions between how the elements are bonding. So that has everything to do with electrons. And since electrons are very negligible in mass, we don't count them. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, now after this step, all we have to do is multiply each one by the mass on the periodic table. So I put down what my periodic table elements look like for hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. Your numbers may vary slightly because different periodic tables round differently, but our total answer at the end should come out relatively the same. Now, just a quick heads up, guys, right? There's usually going to be two numbers that you have to work with, right? One's going to be a whole number, which are on the bottom, the 1, the 8, and the 16. And then the other ones are going to be like these decimal values. The question is, which one are the mass numbers? The decimal values are the mass numbers, not the whole numbers, guys, okay? So these like decimal numbers on the top, in my case. The whole numbers are the atomic numbers. Those are the number of protons in your element. The mass number is the average mass of basically all of the oxygen or hydrogen or sulfur on the earth. So these numbers up top here are your mass numbers. Mass number, atomic mass, it's the same exact thing. In this case, since we're talking about a molecular mass, we're talking about it on a very, very small scale. So I'm going to use the unit AMU. AMU stands for atomic small mass unit. There are two units that you can use for your periodic table. Grams per mole is one of them, which we will use later on. But in this case, we're using AMU. 
So for each one of these, I'm just going to multiply the number of the element that I have by the mass. So for hydrogen, it's going to be 1.008 AMU. For sulfur, it's the 32.06 AMU. And then the oxygen is 16.00 AMU. Okay, so let's just quickly multiply these across. 2 times 1.008 is 2.016 AMU. So that's the total amount of hydrogen in my compound H2SO4. The sulfur is just 32.06 AMU. And then the oxygen, 4 times 16, is, I believe, 64. And we'll just keep the decimal there. Okay. So now we want to find the molecular mass of the whole compound. So what are we going to do with these three numbers if we need to find the total mass? Yeah, totaling. Total it up. We got to add. So we just got to add these two, these three together. So 64 plus 32.06 plus 2.016. I get 98.076 AMU. And that is the total mass or molecular mass of the compound H2SO4. Now, if you need sig fig purposes, right? You know, I don't really care about sig figs. So I'll leave it as this answer. But if you need sig figs, right? The lowest uh, sig figs after the decimal is two places. So technically, you know, you should have this in two decimal places. So it would be 98.08 because you have to round. The six rounds up. Uh, but I don't care. So who cares? <laughs> this is the answer. All right, guys. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the, uh, the comments below if this helped you guys out. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. And yeah, let's keep working hard. Okay. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.